Hi there, English 102 students. This is your professor, Michael Bloomingberg. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to Module 2, which is a whole new module entitled Persuasive Strategies, and to welcome you to Week 3 of the semester. Now, because this is a video that I have uh, will continue to utilize in future semesters as appropriate, um, I want to let you know right out of the right out of the jump here that I'm going to refrain from mentioning uh, specific days that assignments are due. So I will say for this week, um, because you have a, an outline that is due, that uh, we'll just kind of say that um, the outline is due this upcoming Sunday. But I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I just want to emphasize that the purpose of this video is to introduce you to the expectations and instructions for week three. And um, you've been working so far with module one. So now you have a whole new module to look at. And within the module, you might just click on the module overview. As you can see, I'm already in Blackboard with uh, everything pulled up. Um, in the module overview, just like with module one, I've mentioned why um, module two persuasive strategies is important. The particular competencies that we're looking to build up on in this um, second module of the semester. And with the activities, um, it's very important to remember that we take things one week at a time. So um, that means that we're just going to be looking at week three activities. I'll make a whole new video next week for week four and uh, what's expected from you uh, with respect to, to uh, week four. And so, um, all right, so check that out as you feel the need to do so. But within week three, I have placed some notes for you that I think you'll find helpful. Uh, we go over these notes in my face-to-face -face class. Uh, so I wanna make them available to you and talk with you just a little bit about them. Um, the first one is about writing process. And some of this will most likely be a review from English 101. I know that some of you had a different professor for 101. Um, different from me, meaning, and some of you did have me in 101. But regardless, I like to remind everyone that there are five steps in the writing process. So we're looking at the essay assignment topic sheet this week, but we're really just focusing on step one this week, which is pre-writing and getting your ideas. And I have put forward some different strategies that you can incorporate in getting your ideas. Um, I am going to actually uh, ask you to do some outlining this week. Um, and this is all going to sort of culminate in thinking about your setting for your uh, cultural observation essay. I'll go over that with you in just a moment. But you can also do listing, clustering, free writing. These are all different ways to get ideas. And we're going to work through all five steps, drafting, revising, editing, and proofreading. But not this week. We need time to work through those. So we'll focus a little bit more next week in drafting. And then as we move through the semester and closer to essay one final due date, we'll talk a little bit more about revising, editing, and proofreading. But I wanted to make that available to you. There's also some notes about essay structure that you might want to look at as well. Now, um, structure is not... Um, radically different than maybe information you learned in the English 101, um, where we're really going to focus on a 3.5 structure for the first essay. Uh, the three represents the parts of the essay, introduction, body, conclusion. The five equals paragraphs, with each paragraph being about five to seven sentences long. And I've kind of equated to you what you want to do with all of those parts and what the goal should be with, for example, introduction, thesis, and grabbing your reader's attention. Now, your thesis will be the last sentence um, of the uh, introductory paragraph. It's generally no more than a single sentence. Um, body is where you're going to explain, get facts. If it's research, which it's really not, it's, well, it is, it's primary research for essay one, research that you're creating. Um, then you'll you'll present that in there as well. And then your conclusion, and just remember last impressions. Um, so it is important that you have a fully developed paragraph. And then I've given some examples for thesis. Um, 
and things to keep in mind that a good that a good thesis statement will announce the topic, make a particular point, and give directions. And notice it with the example. Um, all the people in my family have different personalities. Um, you might say, well, um, I know that the, the topic would be all about the person's family. Uh, particular points, not it's not very particular, but it is that they have different personalities. Um, no, really no sense of direction in that. So if I were to go back and revise, I might say birth order may influence one pers one's personality in startling ways. And the direction's a little more apparent there. Because if I were writing an essay about that, and that is not what your essay is about, by the way, it's just an example, then you might have a body, uh, a paragraph about being the um, oldest person in your family. And and I'm really thinking about brothers and sisters. So you get, if you're the oldest in of among your siblings, you can have a paragraph about that if you write an essay. You can have a paragraph about being the middle child, a paragraph about being the youngest child. And if you're an only child, you can have a paragraph there to talk about how the order you're born can influence your personality. So I just wanted to give you an example of thesis. It's very important. Look at the notes. And if you have any questions about thesis or you just want to check that in with me, you're more than welcome to do that. So look over that information. I hope you find that helpful. But uh, actually, the first essay assignment sheet is hosted here. So let's take a look at what you're asked to write about for essay one. Um, you can see the uh, due dates are given first. So the outline for the essay, which is just your pre-writing, step one, it's not the actual essay. So that is due this upcoming uh, Sunday. And then a little later, and again, your dates will change according to the semester. But uh, a little bit later, you're going to have your completed rough draft for peer review and discussion. And then, I, again, I don't reference due dates, but you'll you'll see the final draft date is listed on your assignment sheet. And it says the first essay assignment focuses on informative writing. Um, and with that in mind, your job is to inform an uninformed audience about a culture to uh, which you belong. Um, Oh, and actually, I've, I've put the wrong assignment sheet up there, so I'll need to change that. I apologize. I've put the wrong one up there. Oh, no, I haven't. Um, I just I need to change the purpose. So what you're doing is practicing, um, and I put the skills to practice. I'll have to fix all of this, and I will. But you're going to observe. Actually, it's a cultural observation. You're going to... Um, observe the uh, landscape for one part of your community. So you're going to go out in your community and you're going to, and it could be um, a lot of different potential um, settings. So you might be like going to a mall, uh, camp, campus bookstore, maybe not so much, coffee shop, a park, a street intersection, a folk uh, art festival. There have been a lot of festivals um, that have food trucks that you might check out, street market, a musical performance, um, an athletic competition, any of those. And these are just some examples. And then pre prepare a plan for your objectives. So you want to go to this area, observe and record notes. Now you can use your phone to help you record your noted information because you want to be discreet. And I recommend that everyone try to spend um, about an hour at your observation site, if you can. Record your sensory details, smell, sight, hearing, taste, touch, all those things. And, and some of these won't be applicable, but some of them can be. And if you're observing people as you generally would at most place, try not to let them know what you're doing as that could change your observation results. People start acting kind of funny if they know you're watching them. Um, I've also given some other examples, a sporting event, a concert, a grocery store, college event, church, playground. Now, funny, uh, only sort of caveat about ch church is if you um, are doing, uh, observing your worship service. I know that that's a very personal um, and spiritual 
um, situation. So don't let that distract you from what you're there for, if you're there to partake in a worship service. But if you can uh, kind of do two things at once, um, I've read some pretty powerful essays that actually use a church service as the, the topic of the essay. Now, your essay is going to be two to three type pages. Um, feel free to drop on Aristotle's modes of persuasion um, to use logos, ethos, and pathos in conjunction with the chronological details that you'll provide of your observation. Uh, review MLA standards of formatting. Uh, create a strong thesis that defines your assessment of the observation and make sure your grammar, spelling, punctuation, mechanics are all solid and sound. Um, if you have any questions as you're working, um, now the first draft is not due this week. You can, what what I you really want to start working on in the next week is selecting your observation site and completing your observation. So along those lines, you do have your outline due. And um, again, uh, note your due dates as they apply. But you're asked to uh, answer the questions in the outline. Uh, the first question is list potential places you can use for your observation. Why do these places, uh, why do you see these places as useful? List your objectives here. What are you planning to observe? How will you record? In other words, will you be able to use a notebook? Will you use your phone, an iPad? Um, I would highly caution you against recording an event because that gets into ethical concerns, your ethos. Uh, people don't tend to appreciate being recorded without their consent. So I would not recommend you do that. What do you hope to learn and gain from the observation? Again, be specific. And how do you plan to structure your essay? Make sure you review the um, assignment sheet and preparing your response. All right, so you're gonna complete the outline this week and then when you're ready to submit it, in, to submit it by Sunday, you're gonna click on the submit here area and you'll click the plus sign and you'll roll to submit that uh, it is worth 10 points um, for an assignment this week. And I'm really excited to review, see what you have in mind, and just kind of get you centered. And by the way, you don't have to. In fact, I would not recommend it. Uh, waiting at, well, I mean, you can, but uh, I would recommend that you start, uh, get your observation completed just as soon as possible. If you're wondering if a particular setting will work and you want to run that by me, or if you have any questions in general, you can always email me. That's the best way to contact me. All right, so this is a lot of information and I know this video has been kind of long, but review writing process and structure, that's kind of the nuts and bolts and mechanical aspects of writing an essay. I suspect that many of you will have experience with that from 101. Um, review the assignment sheet. The outline is due this week. Um, only the outline, not the essay, just to be clear. And then um, go ahead and submit the outline by the end of the night this upcoming Sunday. And again, as much as you can, try in the next week to complete your observation. That will keep you on track. Once you have your observation completed, I'll talk about this a little bit more next week about what you can do to actually begin preparing for the drafting, because you're going to have a lot of notes in, in the observation. So once you complete the observation, the next step is to make sense of it all. So to go through your notes, notice trends and patterns that make sense, and be able to make sense of what your observation showed you so that you can craft your thesis and begin drafting. All right, I think that's it. I'm going to uh, go ahead and stop the screen share. Um, I know this is a lot, and this is a big week, so reach out if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to help, um, but I think that's pretty much going to wrap us up. So work on that observation as much as you can, but remember, just the outlines do this week, so we're taking things kind of slowly, a step and a week at a time. So take care of yourselves and have a great rest of your week.